Okay guys, welcome to another video, another the final chapter in this saga about the uh, Beretta 950BS jet fire and the ammo problem I've been having. Now, the last I spoke to the factory, just to recap it, uh, I had purchased the Buffalo Boar ammo, which you see right here, which will not chamber in this Beretta, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And when I brought it to the attention of Buffalo Boar, they at first said that the ammo was either defective, altered, or it wasn't their ammo. Uh, when I assured them that none of those three things were factual, they then suggested that it was my pistol, that there was something wrong with the pistol. Now, I did give you a look at the pistol. You know, I mean, uh, the pistol's in in excellent shape. I bought this pistol. It's 40 years old, and it had never been fired or carried. And as you can see, uh, I mean, it's it's mechanically it's sound. Now I I've, I've been shooting this ammo, this Aguila 25 ACP auto, which you'll notice that when you feed a round into it. When you, when you plunk the round into the barrel, you'll notice that it goes down flush. You know, you can also do the little test to see, does that round actually turn, you know, with pressure? And it does. You can wiggle this, which means that the projectile itself is not impacting any part of the rifling or the uh, where the chamber meets the barrel. I used PMC ammo, and I get the same effect. It sits flush. As you can see, it's flush with the barrel, which means that it'll close. Okay? It closes. It goes into battery so that you can shoot it. And the same thing, when you go to move the round, you'll see that the round... I can't get my fingers in there, but you can see that the round does move in there. You know, you can you can rotate that round and spin it. it. Comes out easily. Now the buffalo bore is when I had the problem. I bought the buffalo bore. And when you plunk this in, you'll notice the problem. That the uh, the head space it's not seating flush. It's not going into the chamber. And I can't take this out. I actually have to pull it out. Now, I found another ammunition brand that does the same thing. It's the Fiocchi. This is made in Italy. Okay, it's 25 caliber. And I noticed that the Fiocchi, maybe just a little bit, uh, a little bit more flush than the Buffalo Bore, but still, I couldn't close that. I couldn't couldn't close that on the chamber and again it's not turning freely in there and it has to be pried out. Now what what does this tell me? Number 1 it tells me that it's not a problem strictly uh limited to buffalo bore ammunition and uh it might not even be the ammunition. This is a 40-year-old jet fire. And I have since discovered other jet fire owners who have reported problems with Fiocchi ammunition not seating flush into the barrel. Now, when looking at the whole concept of head spacing on a cartridge, it seems to me that the problem is that the projectile itself is impacting the rifling of the barrel, that it might be too thick up here for this gun. Same thing with this one. If you look at the differences in the rounds, okay, they, they might be hard to see, but if you look closely, you'll see that this round stays stouter for further up toward the overall length of the cartridge. 
same thing with the buffalo boar. A buffalo boar looks like it's a little bit longer, but it's also pretty pretty stout up there. You know, it doesn't start to taper off till you get to the very end. It's it's pretty stout. I think that these rounds are just impacting the rifling at the barrel. They are head spacing at the case mouth, not at the rim. And uh, for this Beretta jet fire, that's a problem. So you might have a later jet fire. I did see some people who say that they owned later model jet fires that actually do accept the Fiocchi, but they said that they barely fit in there. They barely fit in there. But uh, so far, no problems with these two brands of ammunition, Aguila and the PMC Bronze 25 Auto. They both, they both work. They cycle through there. I've not tried to fire. I'm not, well, I can't, you can't even chamber that. And I certainly can't chamber the Buffalo bore. So that's it. I'm not, I'm only bringing this to the attention of anybody that owns this gun. If you own an older one and you're thinking about, hey, let's try the Buffalo bore. Or, you might save some money. Don't buy the Fiocchi or the Buffalo bore because it might not work in your gun. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to try to get a hold of some of the Hornady, the, uh, you know, the hollow point XTPs or something. They seem like they taper more toward the top. And I think that those those might fit in there okay. But for now, these two rounds, I've got no problem. And uh, I just wanted to set the record straight. I'm not blaming Buffalo Boar. I'm, I'm just strictly saying that this ammo, even though it might be to SAMI specs, S-A-A-M-I, the specifications that they use for making rounds, I'm sure that they all fall within the uh, allotted uh, specifications, but for this old Beretta, uh, they're not—they're not going in there. There's not not enough tolerance. All right, thanks for watching.